Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. So, you may notice, bit weird, different background. Yeah, my wardrobe is there now. I'm back to the other side of the room. <laughs> um, yes, my window, where you used to see my window behind me there, it's now in front of me. That right there where my wardrobe is, that's where I used to film. That's where I was filming up until before this video. Um, while I was away, my mum rearranged all my room um, because she just couldn't could deal with it and um, so she just rearranged it for me this is where my room used to be so I don't really mind Um, yeah so that's different I've nothing really going on back there I've got my little whiteboard there Um, you can see my socks on the on the radiator which is a bit weird Um, and my wardrobe that's kind of it so I've nothing really decorating there so I don't know what I want to do I want to kind of get something I do have an idea of like an artwork that I want to do myself so I might do that actually as a little project for myself and then hang it up on the wall there which would be pretty cool um, anyway, forget about that. That's not important. This right here is important. The look. I have started my autumn looks. Woo! Um, I, I love my autumn looks. Um, this look I've done many, many times. I've probably done it three years running and just didn't like how it turned out. So I'm hoping this is the one. This should be the one. I'm hoping so. It's usually the photographs that puts me off. So I'm hoping it photographs well. And then I can put it up. Because <laughs> this look I've had in... I literally had my face started when I did it. This is it. This is the face chart. See? Yeah. Um, I did that like four years ago. That's how long I have this look in my in mind. So yeah, this is it. It's very autumn colours. It's greens, yellows, burnt orange, brown, bit of plummy berry kind of tones on the bottom. It's basically the idea of this is changing leaves. So all the colours you see in the leaves, you get some burgundy tones you get some russet kind of tones you get some orangey kind of tones yellow green a little bit of purple on some of the leaves so yeah um this is basically it and yeah hope you all like it if you do want to see how to get this look then keep on watching all right guys so let's get started i feel like i haven't filmed in like forever and um, because all my videos that i've put up recently were from like july i think because i was trying to like pre-film because i knew i was going away and i wanted to get things done but we are into September, we are into autumn, and I'm gonna do something very autumn, very, very fall, autumn, whatever part of the world you're from. This is my little colour palette. So I'm gonna do like warm colours, I'm gonna do some greens, I'm gonna do a little bit of purple. All the, basically the idea for this is all the colours of the leaves that change in autumn. Um, so I've done this look a few times. It hasn't always looked that nice. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna try again and we're gonna see how it looks. Otherwise, I'm just gonna give up and you'll never see this. Um, I am gonna start off with some bases. Some I've got my uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance on my eyes already, but I'm gonna use some jumbo pencils from NYX to create nice bases for these colors. Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna start with the shade Dark Brown and I'm gonna use this for all of my colors pretty much I'm gonna have a brown a green and a purple so for all of the colors and, and a white as well Um, I'm gonna just start by kind of mapping out my crease it's gonna be a cut crease ish Um, my version of cut crease mostly uh, so as I'm looking like straight into my mirror I'm going like straight ahead and just right above my brow you don't need too much just enough to get a bit of colour on. Doesn't have to be too straight, doesn't have to be anything. I'm gonna go with a brush and tidy it anyway. So just like deep. I'm just gonna actually grab this brush, it's right beside me, and I have no intention of using it. Um, I've just cleaned it, but this is like a little travel size Real Techniques brush. This is a mini shading brush. I'm just gonna use this just to, right along that baseline, just to smooth that out, or put a bit of pressure on, so that way you get that nice bit of tension on the skin and that way it'll make it a little bit more smoother just taper that inwards and then you can go in and start softening out all your edges the edges you can probably do with your finger but just that baseline along here you want to be nice and precise okay so the first actual color we're going to use is this uh, rainbow shade from Ingla it's the shade 122 it's got like your kind of warm brown kind of colors in it I'm gonna take that kind of yellowy brown first and I'm taking that on a soft dome brush from Makeup Geek just as my transition shade um, just to help things blend and look a bit more of that golden kind of color just 
if you if you look at like different colors of leaves we're kind of going for all of those colors if we can or as close to those colors as we can okay so the next shade we're going to use is the shade 335 from in lots of matte shade if you were to pick an autumn color this is it this is the one like an autumn brown just like real warm and cozy kind of color it's a bit more of like a burnt orangey kind of color really but you know whatever um i'm taking this on a 221s from mac and we are gonna just start popping that into the deeper part of the crease and bring it all the way in and just building it up and blending it out so we're gonna build it up first just to get that intensity and the color and it'll stick to that dark brown base we put down first as well to make it really nice and intense then going back in with the soft on brush just put whatever's left on it and just use that to soften it out okay so i'm pretty happy with how that's looking so far we can reblend if we need to whatever um you can see i brought it up quite high you don't have to i just like that that's uh, my eye shape that's how i like my eye shape to be um so yeah suit yourself the next shade I'm going to use is a deep, deep brown. It's my, my favourite dark brown because it's a cool tone brown. Slightly. Um, this is the shade 329 from Inglot. It's a matte dark brown. It's a very Inglot heavy eyeshadow look, by the way. Just letting you know. Because <laughs> I planned this out with Inglot shades. And this is a, sh a 214 little smudgy flat brush. Um, I'm taking just the cut product on one side like we normally do and on the clean side and then a face that down towards my lid and we're just gonna run that along where the cut crease part is just to intensify the deepest part of the lid or of the crease really then what I'm doing is I'm kind of flicking it upwards so going from that baseline and just flicking flicking it upwards and then we've kind of covered up a little bit of that russet -y burnt orange colour so I'm going to take a little bit more of that and use that to blend out the deeper brown so keep in the very base of the line dark dark and then blend out with the orange colour okay so the next thing that I'm taking is Rocky Mountain Green Jumbo Pencil from NYX it's a green and um, it's slightly shimmery but it doesn't really matter so I'm going to load this all on the inner part of my lid this is like a cut crease halo halo cut crease like said that very complicated and we're gonna also pop some on the outer corner of the eye just to intensify the greens that we're gonna put on and then we're just gonna take a flat brush you can use your finger as well but I just want it to be a bit more precise just smooth that out just so that it's not patchy and the colors don't go on patchy and it's not too heavy on so the first shade that I'm going to take is this shimmery kind of olivey green and um, foresty olivey green it's the shade 419 um, and I'm taking that just on a flat brush any flat brush will do and um, we're just going to press this kind of not all the way into the inner corner and not all the way in to the center part kind of right in the middle there because I just want this to be like that kind of like an antique green sort of shade Um, just as one of the colors that's there Um. I don't know, it kind of, this just reminds me of like an autumn kind of, all the bright colours of summer starting to melt away. Make sure when you get to that cut crease you go a bit more precise, so don't go up into the cut crease, it's not what we want. Okay, so I'm just going to flip the same brush over and I'm going to take the shade 412 from Inglot, this is more of like a golden green, um, kind of leaning in the olive side as well, but it's a bit more golden. And we're gonna take this a little bit closer to that center part and have it fade into that olivey color. So this will kind of brighten everything up. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with that brush that I used to blend out the green base. And I'm gonna take, it's gonna be a bit weird, but it's a matte, like, bright green. <laughs> um, just to green it up a little bit. I'm gonna take this mostly to that outer part here where we kind of left a bit of a gap. Because it's matte, it's gonna have a bit more depth in it. But because that olive color is there, you're just gonna kind of green the olive up a little bit more. But it will just create that little bit more depth. Even though I didn't pick my nose, I just scratched it. You can kind of see that I like, 
I'm literally turning to see that very edge. So right out to the outer part of the crease. And I'm also doing the same on the inner corner. Again, further out and feather it inwards, overlapping the olive shade. You can always go back in with the olive shade and re-intensify that, but this is just gonna make it look like it's actually green, not too golden, not too deep either. There's a little bit of brightness to it. So next I'm gonna use my very, very teeny weeny little NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk, and we are going to pop this just down the center, that little gap that we've left just to intensify the yellow that we're gonna pop here. We're gonna put two yellows, we're gonna put a, a slightly more matte yellow just for, mostly for the color and then a shimmer on top. Could just use the shimmer, but it's not gonna be as yellow and I want it to be quite yellow. So pop this down first, just to make sure it's nice and bright. And this will add to the halo effect. I'm just gonna take my finger and just kind of soften that out. Again, if it's a big stripe down the center, it's fine. The shadows will blend it for you. Next, I'm taking this Charles Fox little lip brush, flat, long, skinny brush, um, because it, it'll work. And I'm taking the shade 60 from Inglot, which is a super bright yellow. And we're gonna pop that on the brush. And we're gonna pop that on the center. Okay, so you could definitely get away with not using the shimmer if the rest of the shades weren't shimmery. Because they're shimmery, this is not going to be as brightening because the shimmer makes everything bright, brighter than the other colors. So having the shimmer there will just really amp up the yellow. And just where it meets that green, I'm just going to kind of wiggle over just to help it blend. But again, shimmers will help it blend easier. So when we put the shimmer yellow on, it'll blend much easier. And you can go back in and re-intensify the green in a sec, but before I do that, I wanna put the shimmer on. This is an Inglot Dazzle Dust. I don't even know if they do it anymore. It's just a golden yellow. It's called Yellow Gold, so that was the name of it. Um, I don't know if they have anything similar to it now. It just, it doesn't have as much of that bright yellow that I want. It's more of a golden. But just to give us that little bit of a sheen. And it's just a pigment, so you will get some fallout, but that's fine. Okay, now that is done. That's all kind of the lid part and the upper eye done. I'm going to do the lower lash line. I'm going to take another jumbo pencil. This is in the shade Rust. Um, you will see this in one of my upcoming Halloween tutorials. Because I know I use this and I, haven't, I don't really use it too much, but I have used it in that tutorial. But I want to use it in this as well, just to intensify. We're going a bit more mauvey purple, plummy kind of colors on the bottom. But I want to add a little bit of that rusty red. So this is how I'm gonna do it. We're gonna run that quite thickly along the lower lash line. Yes, I am going into work like this. Nothing should surprise you anymore. I'm just gonna take my finger and we're just gonna soften that out a little bit. Just the edge, you don't, you don't wanna take away the rustiness. A little bit okay so next on the look for the lower lash line i'm going to take this um it's a lip brush and it's clearly very very old but slightly fluffy and it's great size for my lower lash line but i'm going to take the shade 75 from ingla it's this mauvey purple kind of berry tone um and it's got a tiny bit of sparkle but you don't really see that too much it's one of those matte with sparkle so you don't really see it that much and i'm going to take this along my lower lash line as like the main lower lash line color. Make sure it's super soft and blended on the bottom part of it. I hope this isn't too dark, not the shadow. I don't mind it being too dark. Um, I hope the lighting is not too dark. It looked very bright when I started filming so I changed it. So I'm hoping it's okay. You can let me know. And I can slightly fix it if I need to really load that up because this is our main color and then just to intensify that a little bit more it's color I very rarely use but it's a beautiful beautiful like aubergine sort of shade it's got a bit of shimmer in it but it's definitely a lot darker it's definitely like a blackened purple we're going to take that on a real techniques accent brush which has some fluff on it perfect um, and we're going to pop that just into the lashes on the lower lash line just to give a bit of texture it'll give a bit more depth 
right in there so that way when we do our waterline liner you'll have something to smudge it into okay i'm gonna go off camera for a sec i'm going to i mean this chair is very squeaky <laughs> um, i'm gonna tidy up my any follow i'm gonna do my concealer all over my face you'll notice i'm a bit more tan because i've got a tan even more tan than i was when i went to portugal now i'm even more tan i was in tenerife by the way um but yeah i'm gonna conceal and then we'll finish off the eyes and i'll show you everything else okay so i'm all nice and concealed um i've had to go quite dark with my concealer darker than i normally do I, like i'm in nw20 right now what 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 is this um yeah i'm like mm, weird um, I went to NW15 on my eyes, so to brighten it a little bit, but I am an NW20 on the rest of my face. My foundation is the one, shade 115 from Maybelline Fit Me Dewy foundation. Um, yeah, it's quite dark and quite warm for me, but it matches. Perfect. It's fine. Um, anywho, I've concealed, so let's kind of highlight around the eye a little bit. I'm going to do my brow bone highlight first, and I'm going to take the shade from Aimblatt 350. So it's definitely lighter than my skin and a little bit cooler tone as well, if you don't mind. Just a small bit. You don't want it to be too heavy, too white. Just use that to blend out any harsh edges, any little bits that might go a little bit patchy when you're maybe photographing it or something like that. I always do like around this area here. And we can always go back in. I'm going to go back in a little bit more of that golden brown that we used first. Just to re-intensify. Okay, and then for my inner corner, I'm going to kind of go a bit cooler as well. And I'm going to take the shade 447. It's a bit more of like a silvery sort of tone. Don't know why, I just felt like it'll just go with it. Um, we're just popping that onto the inner corner. Not too much because I don't want it to be like silver, but just enough to brighten. Okay, so I am moving on to a bit of liner. I'm going to use some liquid liner for my upper lash line. I'm going to use this because I, I haven't actually used it yet. <laughs> and I really want to. It's the Dip It Liner from Sleek and it's in the shade black. It's got a felt tip applicator, so we'll see how this goes. I'm not usually great with felt tip applicators unless it's in a pen. And it's kind of stiff, but it should be okay. I'm a makeup artist, I can do this. I find my best technique when I'm doing using a felt tip is to Try not to drag, try to stamp it on. And I'm not going to talk during this, so I'll either cut this whole thing out or speed it up. We'll see. Okay, so that was a, a struggle and a half, so we'll see how that turns out in photographs. <laughs> I don't know how people use those stiff felt tip applicators. To me, that's just like insane. I like flexibility. It just didn't move with me and, and very thick out here. The wing was actually easy to do. It's the line in between the wing and the actual line was very difficult to do. So it's a thick liner, but sure luck. You can still see everything, it's fine. So what we're gonna do now is go on to our mascara. Where did I put my mascara? I'm using the MDM Flow Greater Than Mascara. Um, I've said it before, it's not my favorite mascara, but I'm gonna be popping lashes on, so I don't really care. Um, it's literally just coat my lashes and get any gaps in between. And then for my waterline, I'm going to use the shade Tornado from Urban Decay. It's one of their 24-7 um, gel, 24-7 glide on eyeliners. Um, and I'm going to use that just in my waterline. It's like a deep, kind of similar to that like aubergine purple that we used on the lower lash line to darken it. So it'll blend very well into that. You could definitely do a black, you could do a brown, you could do yellow would look pretty cool. I wanted a super smoky lower lash line, so we're going for the purple to blend into it. Okay, I'm not too sure what lashes I want to do yet. I'm going to just leave that until the very, very end, until I'm at the very end, and I'll show you which ones I pick. Let's move on to skin. I'm going to take, for my powder, the Next to Nothing powder from MAC. This is in the shade Light. Um, it doesn't really matter what colour my powder is for me. I find that lighter is ten, usually better for me because it doesn't... Usually when you set foundation it gets darker, so going lighter stops that from happening. Um, so with this I don't really mind what colour my powder is. This is like a medium, mm, sheer medium coverage powder. Very nice, very smoothing on the skin. Like a filter on your skin. So like I said, I've got a lot of stuff planned out for like the rest of the year. But I'm already thinking about stuff I want to do next year. 
So if you have any suggestions as to what you would like me to do, let me know down in the comments. Because I do like... Obviously I want you guys to enjoy it, but I do have a lot of ideas myself. I have series and like how-to videos and things I was doing, like a basics kind of episodes, you know, where it's like how to do certain things that I do and I explain how to do them, but you know, a bit more detail, like a 10 minute video explaining liner and different types of liner. Or literally just doing a video on different types of liner and how they look on the eyes and what the difference would be. Um, I was also thinking about doing a colour series. Not a rainbow series, a colour series. So I'd specifically pick colours. You know, I do like a mustard look or a yellow look. It's not just yellow, it would be like both or whatever. And do it where it's like literally my lip is mustard as well. So just interesting things like that. I was also thinking about doing like actual product videos. So like my pigment collection, my glitter collection, my lip collection. My foundation collection so let me know if there's any anything you have in mind that you would like to see and then i've got my random tutorials that i just throw in like this every now and again um yeah so if you'd like to see any of those videos uh, let me know or any other suggestions you have okay so on to my contour i know i've used this a lot but i just think it'll just go best this is the dallas bronzer from benefit i just love this sometimes i go off using it for a while but i love it i really do like it's warm enough for me to not look orange it's more pinky which i like and especially now that i have a bit more color for my holidays i do have a bit more of a pinky undertone on my skin so i'm just gonna hollow up my cheekbones bring a little bit up into the temple and up to the sides of the forehead Okay, and then for blush, I'm gonna use Max Margin Blusher, which is kind of like a rosy, like a rose gold kind of color, but not too gold. It's more like just like a shimmery rose color. Um, really natural as well, which I quite like. Do you hear what I just said? I just said natural. It is natural, but it's like a nice kind of natural, especially when you're doing a lot on the eyes. Or with greens, it's great. Or if you want to do like a red lip, it's great. It's a bit like warm soul in that way. It's just one of those colours that will work for a lot of different tones. Just make sure you blend back into the bronzer. I'm going to take a little bit down my nose as well because when I'm in the sun I do get a pink nose. And it also helps to highlight my nose but it actually happens to go in with full blown highlighter. It still might but it might stop me from doing it. Okay and then for my highlight on my cheekbones I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution HD Strobe Palette. It's this guy so you got two shimmers two creams one is a gold duochrome one is a pink duochrome this is more of a pinky color this is more of a peachy color and um, i'm using this because i don't normally get to use this because some of them are a little bit too dark i'm gonna go in with the kind of more peachy tone i think yes the more peachy tones because it's a bit warmer this is a what is this a luxie tapered highlight brush a 522 taking that on the high points of my cheeks um so we're gonna move on to lip and then I will pick my lashes because I still don't really know what I want to do. Let's get rid of my lip balm. I'm gonna take the Boldly Bare Lip Pencil from MAC um, because it's a warm peachy colour or like a warm nude. And we're just gonna line the lips and fill it in a little bit. And for lipstick you could go a little bit deeper than this but I'm not going to. I'm going to use Politely Pink from MAC. Um, it's just a, a very shimmery, not very shimmery, it's more like a, a, a luster. Obviously. Um, it's like that slightly sheer, glossy, bit of a sheen to it. Pink, it's gorgeous, it's one of my favourite colours. no gloss I'm not really going to do any gloss because this has a nice bit of a sheen to it my skin is glossy enough for everyone <laughs> but no highlighter on for everyone so yeah I'm gonna go pick my lashes and I'll be back in a sec okay so I finally took me ages to decide 
what lashes I've picked, but I have picked some. These are from Primark. These are the Alice in Wonderland lashes. So they kind of, they're kind of fluffy, but they're very soft, fluffy lashes. They're a bit spiky, but they're really, really nice. I'm gonna pop those on off camera. I can focus, please. Off camera, and I'll be back in a sec. Alrighty guys, this is our finished look. I popped my lashes on, I popped my lip on, which you already see, you see all that. I don't know why I'm telling you again. But this is it, it's nice and dramatic. I'm very happy with how this turned out. We'll just see how it photographs. Hopefully it turns out okay. Um, yeah, I love it. It's my first autumn look. I love autumn. I love like all of the, I don't necessarily love like the weather or like nothing really special except Halloween happens in autumn. And I love Halloween, I've already got my costume possibly finalized not the actual costume stuff but i know what i want to do um but i'll explain that in another video the autumn makeup though is like some of my favorite makeups that come out i love like the deep lips i love all the really kind of sparkly eyes the very um what's what's the word i'm looking for like the kind of greens with the burgundies and like all the different colors kind of going together i think they're so beautiful i'm just gonna brighten myself up a little bit Oh, too much. Still too much. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, I love, love, love this look so much. I love these colours together. I think it's so fun. I will have another kind of autumn kind of look and a very, very dramatic, colourful look coming up soon as well. Um, also, you will see coming up, hopefully before the end of September, the Lush Halloween range is coming out, I think, in two weeks' time. Um, so we'll be doing a video on that, but whatever I buy from that, I don't know how much I'm gonna buy probably all the bath bombs and maybe one or two other bit, little bits and then the Lush Christmas range will be out probably the end of September then I have rearranged all my Lush stuff I still have a lot of bath bombs I haven't bought a bath bomb since I made that huge order of bath bombs I have not I kept my word I bought bath bombs for my mom but they're not for me so it's okay I have a drawer full of bath bombs on my Alex drawers here on my desk and I've got a drawer here in my underwear drawer <laughs> dedicated to bath bombs that's how many bath bombs i have so we'll see how that goes <laughs> um so yeah that's coming up soon and then i'll have my halloween stuff mm, i'm excited i love this time of year it's so much fun so yeah if you did like this look give me a big thumbs up down below let me know in the comments what you think of this look and also like i said the suggestions for what you want to see next year. I know it's September, but still, I want to know. I want to start compiling and planning and all that kind of stuff because I love to plan, even though my life's a mess. It doesn't matter. And yeah, hit subscribe down below to see more autumn looks, some lush videos, more colourful videos, and my Halloween stuff that's coming up soon. It'll be starting, hopefully, either end of September, beginning of October. Yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye!